していたと思いますか Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're doing really well. As you can tell, I am in finally a winter wonderland. We had our first big dropping of snow and we finally have some nice snow cover. So today I'm very excited because, because there's no ice underneath the snow and the snow is the kind of, it's like soft and fluffy and it'll pack down. It's safe to take ponies out hacking. So I thought that I would take you with me hacking in a winter wonderland. Hi there, sir. Do you want to go for a hack? So. We are back to Bitless because Mr. Merlin is currently capping and is not interested in having a bit in his mouth and he has told me so. Back to Bitless and he's super, super good. Aren't you? Uh -huh. yeah. We are aboard in my new dressage saddle and we are starting just in a sand ring because it's been a while since he's been out on a hack, probably six, seven weeks. Oh, he's being awesome. So let's head out. He's probably going to look at that branch that's on the ground. Oh, good man. So pretty, isn't it? Hey. We're in the field and he's choosing to go forward. So it's a good sign. Good man, I know the footing's different, isn't it? So something I really like is that he's being very cautious with the ground. Like he's really looking where he's going, which is good because he doesn't always do that. What a good boy. I'm making sure also to stop and he gets straight so you can see how he is mouthy again because we're capping. So I'm stopping to make sure to give him some treats and just to make it a nice chill place. Yeah, I am so impressed. He's being so good and like so, so, so careful with his feet. Might I also say that this horse has not been on a hack probably since the beginning of November. We're now mid-December. He's never been ridden in the snow. He's three and a half years old and we're bitless. What teaching emotional regulation and trust through positive reinforcement does. And I mean, he is a very level-headed baby, but it all goes together. Okie dokie, so it's been nearly 30 minutes since I got on. I just checked my Equilab and we're at like 29 minutes and a half. And he's settling really nicely. He was a bit excited at the start. So I'm gonna call this a day, in, at least in the field for today. I'm gonna take him in the old outdoor ring. We might do a teeny bit of trot, but I definitely want to trot in the snow in an enclosed place first before I do any sort of trotting in the snow in a 30 acre field. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love and it's Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything This boy was just the best boy, weren't you? <laughs> you were such a good boy So, not bad for his first A I know you're capping, but there's no need to be mouthy Not bad for a first <laughs> Not bad for a first ride in the snow. Horsey number two. I just can't get over how mild it is today. It's like two degrees. And I know like the temperature goes up when 
it snows, so that's why it's mild, but it's such a nice day. This is the same little chestnut thoroughbred mare from my very first GoPro hacking video. She's one of my favorites and she loves going out in the snow. So we are much more energetic than Merlin was. Hills are starting to peek out through the clouds, which is gorgeous. Isn't it my sweet? Because I know I said a few months ago that hacking like in the fall is my favorite time of year, but I can't help but love hacking in the snow. It's such a good workout for them. It's low impact, it really makes them work harder because they're having to trudge through the snow. In the arena in the winter, the sides are rough and it's just, it's easy to feel quite miserable. It's so nice to get out into the fresh air, especially on a beautiful day like this. Like I could probably be out without this vest and just have the shirt on and it would be fine. done we just did a little bit of a schooling session in here and by schooling session I mean five minutes she's very good got two ponies ridden and my energy for riding is pretty much gone Eve has been very excitable in the paddock today because they were in the last two days so I don't think riding would be a good idea I was I'll probably do that tomorrow but if I can catch her I will take her for a little hand walk down to close up the field. Here we going on a little walking adventure, lady. You were definitely being silly this morning. And about 15 minutes ago, you were cantering and bucking about. What are you doing? Are you a natural footstep? God, I'm dying. I'm so out of shape, Missy. Trudging through the snow. an alert face if I've ever seen one. Good girl. You've been so good. All right, shall we go in? I love doing stuff like that with the horses. I figured I have to go back there to close it anyway. Might as well take little one for a walk. Go for a little hike together. The thing is, is taking your horses for walks like that, in addition to it being a good thing when you don't have the energy to ride or don't necessarily have the time to tack up. It's also wonderful because a lot of the times horses are more comfortable on the ground. So I'm hoping to take Eve on a hack tomorrow. So taking her out even just down the aisle and into the hayfield today is a good idea. So it is now the next day, a much bluer, sunnier day and we're on Miss Eve and she's being so good. We just got to the sand ring and she stood perfectly still for me to get on. Hasn't been ridden in nearly two weeks. Such a gorgeous day. I can't wait to get out in the fields with Mr. Merlin. I was originally just gonna film yesterday, but I thought why not? Cause today we'll have the pretty view of the mountains. <laughs> You're definitely eager. Are <laughs> you sniffing? 
sticker. You like going on hacks, don't you? Hey. Following the same path that Merlin and I took yesterday. You sniffing? Huh? You smell Merlin? Definitely after like the last month of it being wet and rainy and gross. I'm so happy about the snow and also to get out of the arena because I think it's just as hard on human brain as it is on the horses when it's so cold and windy and gray and gross that you can't really do anything outside. Like she's just having a ball sniffing and following the path that Merlin and I set yesterday. Just say hi to my pony. Hi, Bubs. He's like, I don't care. Two weeks, no riding. And the last time we rode before that was like a week, so she's been ridden once in the last three and a half weeks. <sighs> the little thoroughbred that could, literally, like, you blow me away. And the thing is, is I probably could have got on her yesterday and taken her out, but where she has been just a little more up and anxious lately, I just wanted to be sure. Set them up for success. The reason why I took Merlin out. I was saying she was being super chill and then she heard some snow falling off the roof of the arena all the way over there and we had a little spook didn't we but yeah but in fairness to her she did hear the noise from behind her so I think it surprised her but yeah anyways as I was saying I just wanted to set her up for success and even after just spooking we're back to being on the buckle. This will be the goal for as much of January and February as possible is mostly just to ride her out in the field on the, well, on the weekends, I suppose. Even if it's just for like walk warm up part of my lesson. And like straight from the start, like she has been so level headed out in the field, even when she was still undergoing the beginnings of her dressage training and was still relearning the contact and all that stuff. I could take her out in the field like this, just on the buckle and have no issues at all. What a wonderful way to spend my last weekend here in Ontario before I go home for Christmas. So you're gonna have a couple weeks off, but I think it'll be good for her. I mean, she has already had some time off, but it'll be good for her to just chill for a couple weeks, be a horse just like Merlin. Although you're gonna come back into work a lot earlier than he does. Because as I mentioned in the video where I introduced this lovely lady, she's gonna be my main focus this winter while Merlin is off. So further developing her dressage wise hopefully do a little bit of jumping when it's not too cold but also just helping her with her brain and overcoming well she doesn't have like it's not anxiety it's just typical like fight or flight responses in terms of like sounds in the arena so we've overcome her catching issue which is fantastic i'll probably do a video about how i overcame that in future so yeah my equilab app is saying that it's been 20 minutes 22 minutes to be exact and she's being awesome the babies are running around being silly so we're gonna go back to the sand ring might do a little bit of trot work we'll see and if you want to see something hilarious i'm not steering her at all like at all you can see how she's perking up and all of them do this like they know where the gate is easy they know where the gate is. It's such a horse thing. Hey, okay. head for home. You know exactly where we're going, don't you? Yes, silly monkey.
Oh my god, you are so funny. So I'm just going to get Merlin, but I just wanted to debrief quickly about Eve and she just blew me away today. About a month ago, I think I mentioned a couple of videos back that she had had a little blip in her confidence. I think just partly to do with the changing weather and her first proper Canadian winter and adjusting to all that new stuff. She was just very anxious under saddle and not doing anything bad. She was just like nervous and reactive to tiny little noises and given the noises that happen naturally in the arena in the winter anyway decided to take a step back she was also not wanting to be caught again which told me that there was something that i was doing or that we were doing hi you two that she was finding aversive so we took it kind of back to basics hi hi sweetnesses um hi and yeah, I worked on teaching her a recall cue. So she hasn't, she's been ridden maybe three or four times in the last month. And today was her first ride in 12 days. Hi, Zappy. Her first ride in like 12 days. And she was just like picture perfect. Took her out in the field, as you saw. Did a walk trot schooling session in the kind of outdoor sand ring area. And she was just a star. <laughs> so this guy worked pretty hard yesterday so i think i'm just going to take him out and to be honest i'm getting cold it's a lot colder today than it was yesterday and the sun has gone Merlin, the sun has gone behind the clouds so we're probably just going to go for a quick 15 20 minute little jaunt might do a tiny bit of trot and out with baby pony and this my friends is going to be his final ride for well who knows how long my original plan was at least six weeks but i really want to get him riding outside and hacking so if i get back from christmas and the field is hackable and stuff like that i'll probably hack him but it won't be super intense work it'll be mostly walk hacking like this trouble and trouble we are nearly done his final ride, you can probably tell we've been doing some walk, trot, and canter on a circle. Probably, I don't know, a big 40 meter circle. I made the mistake of trying to canter him towards the gate and he got very excited and we are bitless. So we had a bit of a, well, I mean, he stopped pretty easily, but did have that many breaks. He was just getting faster and faster. And yeah, so we came down here to walk again. He's just been an absolute legend, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed. When I started filming, I wasn't quite sure what it was gonna be, but it kind of ended up being a spend a weekend with me at the barn kind of video. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below. Make sure to give your horse or pony a hug or a kiss the next time you see them. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, and we will see you next time. Bye.